Hi guys. Here we are at Point Loma in San Diego, which is uh there's some tide pools and stuff around here and it's it's on the borders of the Navy base where they have the sometimes you can see aircraft carriers coming in and they have submarines there and uh I think that's a gator. There's some sailboats out there. What is, is it? What's the islands over there? I forgot. Um, um, that's not Catalina. Those are the. Um, oh, I can't remember. There. Me either. <laughs> not very good tour guides, are we? No. <laughs> Let's walk over here and take a look. Someone's getting there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, did y'all see the, the water treatment thing I filmed? Maybe we need to go investigate that. We got someone taking their wedding photos here. Let's see, here's some, some stuff about the Navy base. Back in the old days. Look at that big old cannon, that's cool. The guy's just standing on it. 67 foot long barrel. <laughs> Damn. That's back when we were worried about the Japs coming to get us. <laughs> this is some more information on the area, and there's the, the tide pools, the coastline. Uh, you can walk down to it and wait around in it. They won't let you take any shells, though. I got in trouble once for doing that. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a Navy ship out there. Yeah, see if we can zoom in on that. I can't see the camera very well. I don't know if y'all can see that. There is an aircraft carrier out there. I think it's more of a gator, but... Oh, is that what that's called? Yeah. It's not as big as an aircraft carrier. Is that one of them aluminum ones? <laughs> no, they got an aluminum. Um, it's like a convertible. It can be an aircraft carrier. It can be a peace ship. It can. It does a lot of different things. Yeah, I think those are the destroyers. Okay. These ones hold um, interesting sea vessels inside of it and can move things. Okay, okay. Let's go over, take another look at the coastline. Really pretty. Here's the hillside behind us. Let's go look at the, the water treatment plant. Here's the Point Loma water treatment plant. It says City of San Diego Metropolitan Waste Water Treatment, Water Department. Point Loma West Water Treatment Plant. Home of the world's best wastewater treatment experts. And there's what it looks like inside of there. There's our friendly security guard. What's this sign say over here? It says the hey point. I'm, I'm not inside. Okay, thank you. There's our security car giving us directives saying we can't take pictures inside i wonder why that is 
I don't even see any signage that says uh I can't do this. By the way, everyone, this is my my friend Kitten. She uh, she's found this stuff interesting, and uh, she wanted to tag along today and see what first minute auditing was about. This is her first exposure to any of this, really. <laughs> Let's see. This says the owner of this is San Diego. Federal Regulatory Commission project. There are no public reception opportunities on this site. So okay. you can't have your receptions at the sewer plant. <laughs> Damn. Really, really irritates me. <laughs> it really does. I bet they have a good place too. <laughs> Well, I wonder how long he'll watch you watching him. He'll stay there. Let's see what we can see up. That's probably like level two illegal. <laughs> Looking up and over the fence instead of through the fence because now you can see the same thing without a right. cyclone fence in the way. Well, he's doing a lot of moving around and seems to be getting a little triggered. We're he definitely, his a little. we're making him uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, looks like he wants to come out again. Oh, it looks like we're being contacted. Oh, the By the U.S. Park Rangers. That didn't take long, huh? No, not at all. We've been here seven minutes and 50 seconds. And we did have to pay to come in. Yes, and we paid to come in. They, they charged us to enter our our uh, natural resources and our coastline, even though we pay taxes, county, uh, city, uh, sales tax, lots of different things. Well, he's just going to sit there, I guess, and watch us. So we'll continue our our nice recording. Let's check out. Let's see. Look up there. We're there's a camera right there. Oh, yeah. I'm sure we're being recorded. Absolutely. So they can record, but we can't. The seems like the security car did just a tiny walk of shame there. He was all out in his in the road that thinking probably this ranger was gonna come violently throw us to the ground and <laughs> take my camera and right beat me up and arrest me and put me in prison for twenty years and unfortunately he's just sitting here watching. So that's good for him. At least he uh, respects our First Amendment rights so far. Isn't it funny too how we have this fence here with a guard yeah. and just because they think so, they say we can't we can't photograph that. That that that, that negates our first amendment. Which is I, I'm practicing my first amendment as a press. Press as an adjective, it's an action. I am pressing on. Uh, 
and I have a right to do so that is granted to me by the, the, the First Amendment. Sometimes I sound kind of silly even to myself when I spout stuff. <laughs> <laughs> They should be more concerned with the fire hazards around here instead of us filming. Right? Well, the security guard was concerned and it's his his job to do that. Yeah. Although I don't know why he would need to call anybody to sit and watch us do the same thing he's sitting watching us do. Seems like kind of a waste of resources, huh? That's our at work. Right? Good afternoon, officer. Hey, could you tell us any uh, interesting things about the Point Loma area? Uh, can I approach a little? I, I can't hear you very well. Uh, yeah. I, I don't want to make you uncomfortable. Oh, no worries. Um, if you like, I can step out and talk to you. Okay. Know, no worries. Um, like we can have more information up at the visitor center if you like. Uh, this uh, we have a monument uh, for Juan Cabrillo mm -hmm. up there, and we also have a lighthouse. Who, who is Juan Cabrillo? Juan Cabrillo is the first uh, European to step, uh, step upon land here in North America. Okay, first one to claim it. Uh, for him. Supposedly. <laughs> uh, we also have tide pools right here. It's a protected area for uh, marine life and whatnot down here. And we do close at 4.30. That's the reason I'm down here. We're, we're about ready to get out. Okay, appreciate it. Well, cool. Could I have your, your name and badge number, please? Sure, sure. My name is Donnie Pham, badge number 194. Okay. I want to thank you for your professionalism. Yeah, no okay. You have a nice evening. You too. Take care. Thank you. Hey, look at that. That was a big, fat pass. That's amazing. I expected a lot more, being this was so close to military, but... uh. Other than the guard getting a little triggered, everything worked out pretty well. Absolutely. Hello. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Beautiful dress. Thank you. Well, I'm going to sign off, and uh, thanks for tuning in. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Everyone have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Here's the lighthouse. Just wanted to show you all that. And there's some kind of oh, no, radar the station the there. Top, oh, what is that then? Oh, yeah, there's a lighthouse I mean, there too. It is a lighthouse, but. But then we got another one up there. It's not. Neither one of them is a working one. Right, well, right. Well, this one might be, but the one up. Back again. Just wanted to show you all some of the pretty scenery from here. There's uh, downtown San Diego and the bay and. This is why we pay the high cost of living out here. Let's zoom in on that. And give you a look at there. It looks nice and peaceful from out here, but if you're there right now, it's traffic sucks and there's no parking and not the place to be right at this point in time. <laughs> and that's Coronado right there. Yeah. Air hangers and all that. I'm going to take a walk over here and show you that other lighthouse that was on top of the hill. Kitten was telling me on the way up the hill that it was one of the old school lighthouses from the 18-somethings that uh, used to have the oil burners and actually kept ships from running onto the coast. Zoom in on that a little bit. Tree's kind of in the way, but y'all can see it. Okay, well I'm I'm out again. Uh, remember, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, look forward to hearing your comments below. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye.